Yeah, I know I look good. Yeah, I look fly. Baby, I'm, baby, I'm just your type. I'm a, I'm a baddie. I'm a, I'm a baddie. Yeah, I know I look good. Okay, so I have quite a few things to do this afternoon. Um, today I want to get caught up on the stuff I have to do for my genetics class and my organic chemistry class. Um, so I want to get through, I want to watch lecture four, lecture five, and do a homework problem set for genetics. And then for chem, I would like to finish, um, lecture three, lecture four, and lecture five readings and watch lecture five and get started on my problem set. You probably know what hemoglobin is, but just to remind you, right, it is the protein found in red blood cells whose job it is to, is to bind oxygen in the lungs. Hey guys, I just finished my workout, my tricep workout, and the Chloe Ting ab workout. Uh, not too long today, but I was kind of tired, so that's all I did. Uh, yeah, man, I always think Chloe Ting's workouts are going to be easy because they're like 10 minutes, so you're like, yeah, I mean, it's going to be over before I even feel any pain. No, that's not true. Chloe Ting's workouts are so deceivingly hard. They're like, they're like not super tiring, but they're like really painful. Like they're like targeted pain. So yeah, I did that. I guess the good thing about vlogging yourself working out is that you can see how bad your form is especially during plank jacks, oh my gosh, and improve for next time. Okay, now I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat something. Since we're here, might as well just teach you guys how to fry an egg properly according to the culinary god Gordon Ramsay himself. So basically what you want to do is you want to keep the yolk intact obviously because you want it to be nice and runny um, and then you want your whites to be like not burnt like see it's already getting crispy here apparently gordon ramsay doesn't accept that um on master chef but um i can't really avoid that basically the whites should not be burned crispy like that too much and they sh it shouldn't have like raw egg white like in this region and yeah that's basically it um, oh yeah, you should have your heat on like 
low to medium um yeah and at this point is where i usually add my salt oops this is garlic salt and this is what your finished product should look like yay It leads to loss of the red blood cells. It also leads to um, kind of a jam up in the capillaries. And there's a bunch of, um, uh, of, of you know, you know, sometimes severe and sometimes fatal. Um, uh, I'm just going to record on my computer. They, you, you, calico cats are kind of genetically, you know, they're, they're the result of a selective cross between a homozygous you know, if you really want to make a calico cat or you make a tortoiseshell cat, you take a, a female that's that's got you know homozygous for the black allele and a male that's homozygous for the orange allele, and you cross them, and now you're guaranteed to have a heterozygous um, individual, which is what you want in order to get the tortoise. Uh, my friend got this for me as a present. And I was using it to film, like, my desk area by putting this on top of my water bottle and putting my phone in this to record because I don't have a tripod and I'm ratchet. And it fell! It fell to the ground and this part came off. I'm so sorry. I'm, like, so dumb. I should have seen that coming. <laughs> Okay, update. I'm almost finished with my chem reading, but now it's 8.11 and I'm so hungry, so I'm gonna eat dinner and then I'll get back to reading. ...into us on the patent pending peanut butter jar car. Ooh. Let's bring in the first one. <laughs> So I actually fell asleep before I could get to finish what was on my to-do list. 
I was really tired, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's like nine o'clock right now. So, and I just woke up. I brushed my teeth, I washed my face, and now I think I'm gonna go on a run and then come back and finish the rest later, so. Okay, so I was just on the bus and turns out, well, first of all, turns out you have to enter through the back. Like you can't enter through the front where the driver is and they don't accept fare right now. Like they don't accept payments. So everyone can just go in for free except students. Students are still paying for their like bus card. So they're like making money off of these students that aren't riding the bus right now. But jokes on them, I will still get my money's worth. I'm just heading to the track um, to run. Look up from your telescope, take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no more. Lay me down behind the moon, tell me you'll be on real soon. I don't wanna wait no more. We could be dancing in the stars, we could be floating on a lake. As long as I'm safely in your arms. And it don't really matter where we stay Don't pass Space makes me sad Cause Yeah, I, I did. Bruh. It is officially 97 degrees right now. Um, and the city I live in, like, never gets that hot. And my apartment, for that reason, doesn't have AC. <sighs> it's so hot. It's a nice day, though.
it's Monday today, Labor Day, and I'm just reading my immunology textbook, catching up on some reading. Um, and then I'm gonna go back and review the lectures that I've had so far. And yeah, I should be all caught up with my immuno class. The binding of antibodies of various isoelectric points to the hapten shows that even antibodies that bind the same antigenic determinant can be heterogeneous. Um, Antisera are valuable for many biological purposes, but they have certain inherent disadvantages that relate to the heterogene heterogeneity of the antibodies they contain. First, each antiserum is different from all other antisera, even if raised in a genetically identical animal by using the identical preparation of antigen and the same immunization protocol. Oh my gosh, my nose is so itchy. Okay, so it's the end of a long weekend. Um, all in all, it was pretty nice. I caught up on a lot of work and I caught up on sleep and I relaxed a little bit. So yeah, it was a really nice weekend and I wish all weekends could be three day weekends because I would be a lot more well rested if that were the case. Um, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed my very first vlog. Um, I'm about to go to sleep, so thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.